Tokyo makes its final push to land the 2020 Olympics. The city's governor on hand to explain the Japanese capital's case for hosting the Games at a news conference in Buenos Aires. Naoki Inosi admitting he's feeling the pressure as the race enters its final 24 hours. There is not much time left now, and so as the tension builds, our hearts are beating faster. We want to host the Olympics and Paralympics in Tokyo more than anything. Along with rivals Madrid and Istanbul, they'll give a presentation to Olympic officials on Saturday before a winner is named after a secret ballot. I'm going into this final stage with the same feeling as an Olympic athlete. Tokyo's bid leaders trying to reassure the media of any fears about the leak at the damaged Fukushima nuclear plant, Inosi telling them the facts speak for themselves. The radiation level in Tokyo is the same as in New York, Washington and London. There is absolutely no difference. That's why it is important that the news coverage is properly based on the facts and the evidence. The Japanese city already has a $4.5 billion hosting reserve fund in the bank, leading many to claim it's the safest of the three options. Modern public transport and a legacy from the 1964 Olympics also figure in Tokyo's bid, as does the sentimental factor of using the Olympics to help Japan recover from the 2011 earthquake and tsunami.